Hey ladies, um, so in case you didn't get enough of me, um, you're also getting me again today. Um, today is February 25th, almost, actually let's wait for it. Well, I'm going to keep talking, but it's almost February 26th. Um, I went shopping today and um, had a lot of coupons, so I saved quite a bit of money. And um, the bad thing was, y'all can probably understand, the shopping days where you've been out of so much and you have to get so much, and even though you're saving money on so many different things, it really doesn't look like you're saving money because you had to get so many things. Yeah, that's uh, where we were. So, um, but, um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I really do like to go, um, ah, Robert's watch is beefing, which means it is the 26th. Um, anyways, um, I like to try and go as natural and organic as possible just because a lot of things, that, there's a lot of chemicals and things like that out there, and we just use it every day like it's no big deal. So I do like to research and find out what's in certain things um, and find out if there's something else out there to use in place of it. So I wanted to show you a few things that I got. I think every single one of these I got at Target. This is my first thing, Burt's Bees Natural Toothpaste. Um, I have not tried it yet, um, but toothpaste actually has a lot of like chemicals. The biggest thing is fluoride. It does have fluoride in it. Just do not ingest it and wash your mouth out afterwards. Hippie! Whatever. My next, probably my ultimate favorite thing. Don't ask why. I was so excited about this. But it's a toothbrush. And it's recycled yogurt cups makes this toothpaste or toothbrush. And I thought that was like the coolest thing for some reason. Hippie! Um, I think the name is Preserve. Preserve. I, again, I got that. We buy American in this household. It is. It's made in USA. Oh. Well, we destroy the environment in this household. What We're Americans. Okay, Greenworks Natural um, Compostable Cleaning Wipes. I've used these for a while, and I must say, I think they work better than the other kind, and it's actually cheaper. Um than the regular Clorox wipes, so I think they work a lot better. Um, the next one is 7th generation natural toilet bowl cleaner. So it's pretty, pretty nifty. Next, I had a huge coupon for this, otherwise it can get kind of pricey. Greenworks um, laundry detergent. And seventh generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner. Yep. So that was just some of the things that I'm trying to move it all over here that I got. Um, this week I am doing um, recipe wise, Jess, I am doing three of yours. Oh. Um, the barbecued pulled pork. I'm doing that. Um, oh, what is the other one? The pasta um, and the tuna casserole. Sorry, I look a mess. Uh, it was really windy today. And I wore my hair down. And then as I was walking to class, it got, like, really windy. So luckily I had a hair tie and I put that up. But... It just messed my hair up. Not that I look perfect any time I do this anyways, but, um, anyways, um, uh, what was I saying, Robert? What? I don't even remember what I was saying. Your TV distracted me, Robert. What was I saying? Don't tell them what you just saw on the television. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, you make it sound like it's something bad, but it uh, I wasn't like torn. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, the recipes. I'm doing the pasta and the tuna casserole. And then um, Kelsey from Plus One Please, I am doing um, your, this. I've already done it and I'm doing it again. The tacos, burrito, whatever thingy. Um, so I think that's all of the recipes from you guys. Um, please keep them coming. I'll probably make some videos as well um, to kind of help give you guys some ideas but um, I appreciate all of y'all's <laughs> um, um, I am planning on doing a video on why I've decided to do cloth diapering at the same time why have I decided um, to do um, breastfeeding and midwifery. I don't know if I've mentioned before, but um, I am going to school to become a midwife. Uh, well, I'm getting my nursing degree, and then after that I'm going to graduate school to become a midwife. So it's something I'm very, very like, um, I don't know. I don't really know what the word, what would it be, Robert? What? I'm I'm very, what about, like, midwifery? I guess just, like, a big supporter of it. Oh, you're a big advocate. Advocate, there. Um, so, pretty much, I will do a video soon explaining why I've done that. Again, um, I think if, you cons if you're like, oh, I think I want to do that, don't just do it because it's something someone has said, like, what I've said. Please do your own research, and that's what I've done. Um, um, but yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Toby is being super super sweet we got him some some chews and um he was very excited about that um oh i did mention to um my professor the one that wrote the barefoot book that i was telling you guys about that uh kenzie's gonna be coming and doing her little spiel for you guys um i mentioned to him and um he was rather excited and everything. Um, I asked if there was anything maybe he could say that had to deal with infertility or fertility um, that walking barefoot may promote or something. And he said he couldn't really think of anything, but he would look into it. And um, But it was something that he hadn't thought about before. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of what... Um, We've been doing, um, I know a lot of times you guys ask, uh, how school and what things are we learning and things like that. We're still studying bones and, um, just more bones. And, uh, so it's pretty interesting just, um, trying to find out, like, how our bodies are made and, um, that there is a function for everything and God had a reason for each and every bone in our body, every tissue, every cell um, in our body. It's just, it's pretty amazing. Um, try to think. Um, please, 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 please enter our contest. I'm being dead serious. Like, enter it. Because the first, I'm closing it out as of midnight, uh, like, going into the 2nd of March. And I will... Either the second or the third, I will announce who's the winner. I, I know for sure I've had one person enter, and I did watch your video, and I was super duper uber excited um, because it was it was really awesome. Um, I really wanted um, everyone to take the opportunity to think of the positives that come with 
either infertility or trying to conceive and that weight that you have um, and yeah so I think just by that one entry I really do think um, it really does help um, I've had it's something I've had to do there are positives to a negative situation and focus on the positives instead of the negatives always helps um, so anyways um, continue to keep us in your prayers we will continue to keep many of you guys in our prayers as well and um, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful and fantastic weekend <laughs> um, and um, I guess I will talk to you guys later oh Toby wants to say hi Toby Toby that is a nice butt shot Toby <gasps> Toby you want to say goodbye want to say goodbye Tubby! Oh, he's playing with a shamrock toy. I got him at Target for a dollar. He's pretty excited. So, anyways, bye guys. Say bye, Robert. Oh, bye.